Now, the way namespaces work is really simple, but for something so simple, it seems kind of tough to wrap your mind around why it works the way it does, or what parts of it are important to understand, what parts are convention, what parts are necessary. So in this next step, we're going to walk through the process of implementing namespaces so that we can use this third-party validator as well as our own validator without changing any names. So jump to your resource pack directory again and go ahead and expand the 13th step, which is called adding namespaces and using the third-party library. Copy the index file and everything in the lib folder. Jump over to your OOP folder in the examples folder and paste over everything that's there right now. All right, let's start by looking at our builder class. So you can see that the only thing that's changed here is this namespace line. It says namespace, and then it says bam, and then a backslash, and OOP example site. If we open up another class, let's open up contact us controller, you see that we also have the same namespace at the top, namespace, bam, OOP example site. Also, down here, we have two use statements. This is to bam, OOP example site, so the same thing that's up here and then page, and then printed page, and then this is the same except it's page, default page. And as we open up each one of these classes, I'm gonna open up default page.php, you'll see we have a namespace here. The namespace is a little different than the contact us controller one. It's bam OOP example site backslash page, whereas contact us controller didn't have the page part in it. Default page does, and if we jump back to the file browser, and look at our printed page, we'll see that this one uses the same namespace as well, bam OOP example site slash page. When it comes to our validator, if we jump back to the file browser and open up form.php, you see that here we're including our validator and our third party validator. And if we jump to the browser and refresh, you see that we don't run into any errors. We can submit this form, and we don't see anything wonky. We don't see the error that our validator class has already been defined. Okay, so what's going on here? So the idea of a namespace is that it's kind of like virtual folders. So even though we can put this form.php anywhere that we want in our file directory, we're also saying that it belongs in a special folder that's a BAM directory, and then inside of the BAM directory, there's an OOP example site directory. Now this file isn't actually in that directory at all. This is all virtual, right? And it's not like we're using that in order to require the file or anything. But now, if we want to use this form class anywhere else, we have to specify that it belongs in this namespace. So if we jump to the file where the form class is being instantiated, that would be the builder class. I'm gonna jump back to the file browser and open up builder.php. Here's where we're calling the class. What we would need to do is actually reference it. I'm copying this namespace right now, and I'm gonna paste it right here and add a backslash to it. We would need to reference it this way with its full namespace and the name of the class. If you imagine the class is like a file inside of these directories. But at the very top of this page, we're saying that this class here belongs in this folder as well. And so it's going to assume that any classes that it uses belong inside of here. And it's only because of that that we can call form directly instead of using the full namespace for it. Let's look at our default page class here. So with this example, we're specifying a different namespace, bam OOP example site slash page. The idea here is that we're adding default page and printed page both to a kind of subdirectory in the namespace to better organize it. The namespace gives us a little bit of organizational power, so we can say a little bit more about what these classes are all about. In this class file, we're also using this use bam OOP example site slash page. Now, even though this looks the same as this, this is actually pointing to our page class. So if we open up page.php, you see the namespace here is bam slash OOP example site, but then the class name is page. So on our default page class, what we're saying is that we want to use that namespace here. The reason we want that is because we're extending the page class and we wanna be able to call it page here. If we remove this line right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll delete it and save, and then go back to the browser and refresh. 
It says class BAM OOP example site slash page slash page is not found. So what's happening here, if we go back to the editor, is that we're establishing the namespace here. And then we're saying that this extends page. But since we've already established the namespace as this, it's looking for this plus page. But when we have the use, I'm going to go ahead and add that back in, then it's saying we can call page directly. So something that might be a little bit confusing here is that use here doesn't just specify the namespace in terms of a directory, but it can specify the name of the class as well. That name is actually part of the namespace. So in one sense, you can think of the class as a file inside of this set of directories that's the namespace. But in another sense, the class itself is kind of like a directory too because it contains additional items. For example, it has methods and properties that belong inside of the namespace of the class. So the reason we can call this theme and then have a function outside of this class called theme is because we've created our own namespace within this class. So that might sound a little tricky, but as you start to see more examples, you'll get a sense of where this has practical implications. Let's take a look at our index page as well. I'm going to open it up. And you see that we're using two namespaces here, one that points to the builder class. So it's in BAM OOP example site slash builder. Now this is constructed like this because inside of the builder.php file, if we look at this, we set the namespace to BAM OOP example site. And then we're extending that by adding this class builder. So when we look at that index page again, that's the namespace that's established in Builder, plus the name of the class itself. And we're doing the same space with the Contact Us controller. In Contact Us controller, if we jump to that file, the namespace is BAM OOP example site. And then if we go back to index.php, we see that it's the same here, plus the name of the class.